Έχουμε, έχουμε λοιπόν με αφορμή. Την με παραλλαγή όμικρον, την η οποία όμικρον εντοπίστηκε. Και την αφρικάνικη παραλλαγή, διότι από Αφρική μα ήρθε τώρα που. Στο Ιωάννησμπουργκ. Ο Αντώνη Κρητικό βρήκε την επιστήμονα που ανείχνευσε η ομάδα τη την παραλλαγή όμικρον στο Ιωάννησμπουργκ, τη μίλησε και έχει πολύ ενδιαφέρον αυτά που μα λέει. Μα λέει τι ακριβώ βρήκαν, πόσο αποτελεσματικά είναι τα εμβόλια, αν θα είναι ήπια η νόσηση. Δείτε το βίντεο και τη ναι, συνέντευξη. Δεν είναι αυτό μόνο. Βεβαίως. Είναι ότι είναι. αυτή που το βρήκε είναι Ελληνίδα. Βάρδα. Από την Πάτρα, δεύτερη γενιά, δεν μάλλον, ελληνικά. δεν μιλά ελληνικά, αλλά είναι, είναι ευτυχία βάρδα, Α, παντού ένας Έλληνας, παιδιά. As I understand, Omicron's rapid rise in South Africa is what worries researchers most, because it suggests the variant could spark explosive increases in COVID-19 cases elsewhere. Do you believe that this new variant will become dominant? Yes, I think it is. Um, and certainly we know that it was identified in other countries as well as South Africa. What has occurred within South Africa subsequent to our discovery that uh, this variant was available is that it has overtaken Delta. So um, uh, we had circulating Delta variant before, but in the last two weeks it has become the dominant variant. So Omicron has taken over all of the, um, uh, the circulating uh, uh, COVID infections in South Africa at the moment. And what do we know uh, about Omicron's transmissibility? Does it spread faster than Delta variant? Yes, so this is very clear at the moment. So the data for the spreading is very clear that it does spread quickly and much better than, than the Delta variant so that one infected person can infect up to three to four infected individuals. So it is a, a faster spreading uh, virus than, than, than the Delta. Um, what, what we don't know is how the vaccines will work with this variant. We, there is a little bit of data coming out now showing that it might not work as, as well, but uh, that data is not good enough at the moment. I don't think we need to wait a little bit longer before we can make that um, decision. But what is very clear is that reinfections can occur. So people that have had infections with COVID previously with other variants can get reinfected. Um, from what she said, I understand that we do not have a clear image right now if Omicron can overcome immunity from vaccines or infection. Um, does it cause severe disease though? proper studies that have been done, but the studies that we are seeing and the people that are telling us, the clinicians are telling us that it is a milder infection. We're not sure if that's entirely because Omicron is causing a milder infection or because the people that are becoming infected have had previous COVID or have had vaccination. And so in some way, the infection has been moderated. So at, at this point in time, we are seeing milder cases and that's good news. Countries around the world take extra measures right now, especially when Christmas is coming. And I suppose that this is because no one knows right now if this variant is more dangerous or not, right? Well, I think people are trying to stop the spread of the variant, but um, uh, inevitably that is not going to be possible. We, we have seen that travel bans don't really help. We have the variant already in other countries. Um, I think the only things that will help the, the further spread of the variant is for us to take the precautions that we all know and have been uh, applying, which is wearing the masks, hand sanitizing and social distancing. And of course, now with the holidays, um, you know, keeping away from big gatherings. But the more people that are vaccinated, the better. And that is our best protection against any variant, including Omicron. Actually, very interesting for us is that in South Africa, we are seeing so many cases. And for us, it's summer. It's clearly spreading in every country, no matter what the season is. And all these cases in South Africa, do you, uh, do you mean that they are Omicron cases, all of them, the, the new ones? Yes, mm. without a doubt. We are seeing Omicron cases. Um, it is widespread. We are seeing it across all the age groups, and it is not only in children. So it is, uh, at the moment, our, all of our cases are more or less Omicron cases.